The latest on the racist massacre in Buffalo. President Biden is heading there to meet with the families of the victims as officials release new details about the lives lost. And this morning, we're getting an exclusive look at the moment the shooter was arrested and the warning signs that were missed. Stephanie Ramos starts us off from Buffalo. Good morning, Stephanie. George, good morning. President Biden and the First Lady will be here in Buffalo this morning, paying their respects here at the Topps supermarket and also meeting with the families of the victims. The president is expected to call for federal hate crime legislation so that what happened here never happens again. This morning, chilling new details on how the gunman behind the deadly mass shooting at a Buffalo, New York supermarket plotted his racist rampage. The individual was here a few months ago back in early March. Authorities now confirming 18-year-old Peyton Gendron visited Topps supermarket two months before he shot and killed 10 people in what the FBI calls a racially motivated attack. ABC News obtaining a 589 page document containing the suspect's alleged posts on the site Discord. Authorities say it appears to show how the gunman carefully planned out the massacre, visiting the supermarket on March 8th, where he was questioned by a security guard. The document also included sketches of the supermarket, outlining different aisles he could navigate quickly. The shooter allegedly describing the store as his first location, listing other possible locations to attack nearby. Police say the shooter visited the store again the day before his deadly assault to conduct reconnaissance, then came back Saturday and opened fire. It's a lot of people standing yeah, here. Yeah. This exclusive video capturing the shock and terror in the shooting's aftermath as the gunman was arrested. Oh my God, he shot so many people in there. Julie Harwell seen here falling to the ground, inconsolable. Her partner and eight-year-old daughter were inside. Overnight, her partner telling ABC News he and their daughter London had separated from Julie because they wanted to buy ingredients for a surprise birthday cake. I took my daughter so she can pick out what cake that we were going to bake for her mother's birthday, you know, try to surprise her. And then what did you hear? Well, first you just, you hear the gunshot, ow, I see all the people running, so I just grabbed my daughter, ran in the back. Lamont and London hiding in a cooler as they recounted to our affiliate WKBW. I was scared for my mom. I didn't know where she was. I thought she was gone. They were separated for 20 minutes, which felt like an eternity. That was the longest way I've had in my life. While they made it out alive, the gunman killing 10 people. Celestine Cheney, Roberta Drury, Andre McNeil, Catherine Massey, Marcus Morrison, Hayward Patterson, Aaron Salter Jr., Geraldine Talley, Ruth Whitfield, and Pearl Young. Hayward Patterson had just been at his church's soup kitchen before he left for the supermarket. He loved the community just as much as he loved the church, and so you would see him anywhere he was. He was encouraging people, you know, to be the best that they can be. Now a demand for answers. Authorities revealing the shooter was investigated last spring after writing a paper shortly before graduation that referenced committing murder-suicide. The school calling state police, but no charges were filed. The individual was brought in for a mental health evaluation. He was evaluated and then he was released. Overnight, the suspect's friend, Matthew Casado, telling ABC News the gunman dropped off ammo boxes at his house the day before the shooting, allegedly unannounced. The friend's family calling authorities to have that picked up. And George, this is just one piece of evidence investigators are looking into. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.